help us understand better about the situations and realities of trade at this time when they're still in the middle of the pandemic. This year, we're forecasting an 8% growth in trade, falling to 4% in 2022. This is happening in a very uncertain environment, which very mm. much depends on whether there's access to vaccines or not. If vaccine inequity continues and we don't uh, get the rest of the world vaccinated, then we may not see the bounce back that we're expecting. Even now, there's a divergence. I think China and Asia is recovering much faster with regard to exports and imports than, say, Latin America and Africa. Access to vaccines is the best economic stimulus one can have. And vaccine policy is the same as growth and recovery policy. A situation where about 10 countries uh, have administered you know, 70 to 80 percent of the vaccine doses we have in the world, where low-income countries have only seen 0.2 percent of the vaccines. This is not uh, really uh, acceptable, and we have to, to do something about it. There's also the demand by almost 100 members of WTO in the TRIPS Council to have a waiver of the TRIPS agreement so that uh, intellectual property agreement so that developing countries can have access. Now, this is being debated. So you have both sides. And I believe that uh, our members, in discussing with each other, will come to an acceptable agreement to both sides that would enable us to have this solution of equity of access solved, whilst also protecting research and development.